Welcome back to the three months of modal logics with Carnades.org. This is going to be a sequel to the 100 days of logic. Today we're going to continue with temporal logic, looking at predecessors and successors in time. These are going to be two new properties of relations, specifically related to temporal logic. So, the properties of predecessorship and successorship are the opposite of the property of density, basically. Density claims that there will always be another instant between any two. Predecessorship, on the other hand, claims that each instant has an immediate predecessor and that there are no other instants between the original instant and its predecessor. If x is y's immediate predecessor, there is no in-between instant between x and y. You should see how this is kind of a denial of density. Successorship, on the other hand, is going to be the same principle, but construed with successors in the place of predecessors. Basically, every instant has an immediate successor, an instant that immediately follows it. Okay? So we can reverse our previous example with numbers from density to understand these properties. The integers each have one and only one immediate predecessor and one and only one immediate successor. So 39 has one and only one immediate successor, that's 40, and 40 has one and only one immediate predecessor, that's 39. It should be noted, importantly, that this criteria assumes that there is no beginning and no end to our set. Basically, because we're saying that all instants or all numbers have a predecessor, that means that there can be no starting instant. And since all instants also have a successor, there can be no ending instant. The relation connecting all of these videos, for example, in order, would not have these properties, since there exists one video without a successor, the last one, and one video without a predecessor, the first one, even though these videos are not going to be dense either. And hopefully we'll look at a couple more properties that could apply to our set of videos in order afterward. But predecessorship and successorship don't because they assume that our set is kind of infinite. It doesn't have an end, it doesn't have a beginning. If you think that the instants of time have no beginning, no end, and are not dense, in effect, all have immediate predecessors and successors, you would say that the precedence relation has the predecessorship and the successorship properties. Or, logically, every instant has an immediate successor. For all x, there exists some y such that x is before y, and for all z, if x is before z, then y is before or equal to z, ISPT and proofs. And every instant has an immediate predecessor. For all x, there exists some y such that x is after y, and for all z, if x is after z, that implies that y is after or the same as z, i, p, p, t in proofs. All right. Up next, we're going to be talking about yet another new property of relations, discreteness, and how it relates to temporal logic. So we're going to be talking about the discreteness of time. Watch a new video every single day for three months here at Carnades.org with the three months of modal logics. And stay skeptical, everybody.